A little bit for somebody who's given as much up as he has given up. A Charlotte trooper who gave up nearly everything to protect the public. He's now paralyzed. He's embarking on a very different life, but his community is not letting him do that alone. Right this minute, thousands of people are showing up to support Trooper Chris Wooten. It's been more than two months since Wooten was severely injured in a crash while mm -hmm. chasing a suspect in West Charlotte. Channel 9's Ken Lemon is live for us tonight in Gastonia for this special event. Ken? Yeah, Chris Wooten used to work at the restaurant right here, so it's only fitting that they come back here to start that effort to help him. In about 30 minutes, the band is going to take the stage back here. You hear them warming up there to entertain this crowd who came out to support the person with so much uh, their, of their heart given to him. This is a law enforcement operation seldom seen before. Nearly 100 people bagging barbecue, and packing meals. It's overwhelming, but it's going great. They're working to help Trooper Chris Wooten. He was paralyzed after his motorcycle was hit by a truck on Tuckasegee Road in Charlotte in July. He was out there trying to help the community when he was injured. They're hoping to raise about $45,000 to help a man who must prepare for life with new challenges. Total change of life for him, um, you know, remodeling his house. He's going to have two special wheelchairs made, one for inside, one for outside. They had 1,700 pre-sales to start the day, but people kept coming and coming. In cars, on motorcycles, and some troopers came in a helicopter. I did not know him. But Sandra Cromlish knew Wooten is from this community and worked in law enforcement. So she bought some meals for herself and her family, and she bought some to be given to others. It's a little bit for somebody who's given as much up as he has given up. The owner of Ray Nathan's restaurant is donating all of the food and some of his staff's time at no charge. Wanting to do this was out of, uh, out of our need to help him, and we don't need any, any reciprocity or anything else like that. The organizer here has been sending pictures to Wooten, and he in return sent a statement back, that statement from him and his wife saying, it's humbling and it's overwhelming to see how many people care for our family. We can't begin to express how much it means to us, Scott. So many people care about that family. And Ken, do you know they have a goal, how much money they want to raise? Do you know how close they are to getting there? Yeah, and they're, they're still counting up, and the sales are still going here. So they do not have a number, but they are getting donations outside of just the burger, uh, the uh, barbecue sales here at uh, this location. They have some donations coming in. One of those coming in for Mercedes of Charlotte, a big check to help them reach that goal. Scott.